Hello you lot, how you doing? It's a bloody good afternoon, it's a bit warm and uh, I got in and I've got a parcel I've got a parcel, I've opened it a little bit because I didn't know what the bloody hell it was Do you know, I had, a, I had a message from the wife she says, why have you bought why have you bought a light? I said, I ain't bought a light, look, it's in a light box look. I said, I ain't bought no light she said, well the light's just, just been delivered I said, well I don't know then, must be maybe it's wrong address she says, no, it's addressed to you to die that no light I don't hear about so all day long I'm thinking why the hell has someone sent me a light I ain't got a light what do I want a light for and then it went until I got <laughs> went until I got home and I thought bloody I was in the, in this box I opened the top of it and I see what it is now I haven't looked in there properly and there's a note I haven't read so we're going to do that together now and we'll, we'll uh, see what we got all right so this is what we got, look, coming in egg. <laughs> good old Mark, sent in a super bright parasol light box, I'm thinking what a bloody hell, bloody light, I don't want a bloody light, but what we got, a bit of bubble wrap, now we've got a note that come with this, so um, we're going to read it, bloody hell man, tell you what, you've got some bloody nice handwriting, how do people get handwriting that neat? I mean, I've never managed to master it. I can't write anyway, but I've never... People with writing this that neat is, is remarkable. Anyway, Rusty. Hope the engine is okay. I have included a couple of FPV transmitters. Hopefully you will be able to get the... White drone. Did I say white? I think it's white. Oh, little. Sorry, sorry. Your handwriting is nice, but I can't read. Little. Little drone back up and flying again. Just check your camera voltage before installing as the Immersion TX is all oh right. Plus 5 volts and the other two are plus 12 volts. Right. Well, I'll have a look at that. Take care. Look forward to your next videos, Mark. Well, thank you very much indeed. I wasn't expecting any extra bits. I know we were talking. Um... So what is in here, um, there's loads of stuff, look. Um, they sent a few transmitters and things, so I'm going to have to go through. It, those are for this drone here. I'm having a bit of trouble with it. Um, I changed the antenna because the antenna I did have on it, um, oh, I can't find it now, I don't know what I've done with it. What did I do with it? It's up here somewhere. Um, I don't know. It was a little, just a generic white one, I think. And... Um, so that weren't very good. Literally, you'd go a few feet, and I'd lose my video transmitting to me goggles, trans transmission to me goggles. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll get a better antenna. I've got a fat shark one. Look, put that on it, and it's the same. Um, you know, you you you'd be fine. The thing is, you can walk around, and it's fine. But the minute you take off, it loses it, and you're in midair and you crash. So. That's for these, and we were talking about it, and uh, oh, it's very kind, it seems to have sent me some. Now there's a few people, look, I've got various different ones here, this is fantastic. We should have some FPV stuff going on soon, now I'm not quite sure what's in there, probably another one. Um, got a box of, uh, what have we got in this box? Another one, he sent me a few. So, this is, uh, that's exciting, but we'll leave those for another video okay um, what I want to show in this particular video is the engine now a few of you have said to me um, that you've got engines can I get in this can I get in the shot oh, maybe I get in the shot look I don't know who knows but a few of you said that um, that you've got engines um, T15 T3s or whatever that you can send me so that's very kind of you so what it is Mark also had one and he put a post up on Instagram, and he's like, oh, I just found this engine. I said, that's exactly what I'm after. Um, so in the end, he's ended up sending it to me. So hopefully it's uh, it's going to be all right. Because I'm not having a lot of luck with that one that I got um, for the rush. Am I? It, it, I don't know, it's saying iffy about it. I don't know what's the matter with it. Um, I'm sure I could iron it out if I was to take it apart, but you can never have enough things So, you know, I'll always buy spare parts and things if I can get hold of them Oh, 
Oh yeah. You tell you what mate, you packed it well didn't you? <laughs> right. This looks, well it's not, it looks new though. It doesn't look like it's very bashed up. Alright, I reckon you must have taken that off or something. A bit stiff. It's a bit stiff. But uh, we'll soon sort that out. It seems a bit, bit stiff there. I'll put Paul start on it and see what happens. We'll soon sort that out. The number ones. We'll have a look at that. We'll soon sort that out. It seems to have jammed up now. But anyway. So. Let's put that around a bin. So we've got ourselves a, another engine. Now, like I said, I know some of you, a lot of you have said, a lot of you were in America, and uh, and you said, oh, I've got, I've got engines, I'll send them to you, blah, 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 which is great. Um, hopefully, we will eventually end up with an engine that does work, but this one might work, yep. So, I'm a little bit worried about that, but we'll soon find out what's the matter with it. I might have to take it apart. It does seem to be quite jammed. Oh, look. There's no screws in the back plate there. That might be why it jammed up. I didn't realise there weren't any screws in there. There we go, look. So why won't the piston go down? That's the question. What's the matter with that then, eh? What's the matter with that? Let's have a look. Let's have a look and see what we've got. See what we got. Right. Don't recommend this if you're um, squeamish, but we'll get a screwdriver in there. Let's see if we can. No. Oh. Certainly jammed for some reason or another. Oh, there we go. Unjammed it. Right. So, that seems alright. I don't know why it jammed when it went to the top. Look. It jams when it goes to the top. Very strange. Must have a bit of pinch or something. Right, anyway. We'll sort that out. I'll get the other engine out. We'll... Put some screws back in there. I'm getting that back where it's supposed to go. I'll put that around the wrong way now. It's going to go that way. There we go. Right, I'll get the other engine out. We'll put screws in. We'll put a pull start on it. We'll put a clutch on it and everything that needs to go on it. Flywheel, etc. And we'll see if it's going to run, I suppose. So, I don't really know what to expect from that engine that I'm just about to put in, but you don't know until you try. Mark was kind enough to give it to me, so fingers crossed. I don't think he would have given it to me if he thought it weren't any good. I don't know why this one's playing up though, it ain't, uh, ain't all that bad really. Anyway, oh, we are in case of here, so, oh, typical. I think I'm missing the size I need, unless it's that one, which it probably isn't. Nope, it's the next one up. Why am I missing so many Allen keys?
I don't know what's happened now. I seem to be missing two and a half and two. No, I'm not. I'm just missing. I'm missing one. I'm missing the one mil Allen key. I don't know what bloody I've done with that. Unless I put it in this one by accident. But I'm missing five sixty fourths on that one. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, my friends. So, did you enjoy the live stream the other day? I'm glad you well hope you did. Over an hour. That was. Never mind. <coughs> Who's heard the news, by the way? On, um... They're not going to build a runway in the airport now. I think airports are bloody stupid. Airplanes are stupid. The amount of pollution they give. They should stop bloody using them. Right, here's our pull start. Here's our one-way bearing. So I need to take the screws out of here. Put them in our, in our new engine. And... Hopefully, yeah, it's kind of thing. I ain't got screws in it either. I thought my other, my old, my old blown up engine might have the screws in it. I could use them instead, but it ain't. So uh, I'll just use these screws on this engine. Put that one together. I'm going to put the pull start on it first before I go putting all the clutch and everything on it. Just to see if I can get it to turn all the way over. Oh, don't do that to me. Don't you bloody dare do that to me. If you do... Right. This one's being a bastard. <laughs> Wrong engine. Bear with me. Might only have to might have to just use three screws on this one because I can't get that screw out of there. I could um, cut a slot in it or drill it out or do something, but um, we ain't. So. I ain't gonna do that until we know if this engine is gonna run. <coughs> if it runs and it runs all right, I might. Get another screw and put a screw in it, but don't do that up tight yet. And uh, we'll just have to run it with three screws. Hopefully, it will seal all right. But I ain't gonna mess around taking that screw out, only to find that this engine here is the same or worse or doesn't run very well because Mr. Mark there, he don't know how it's gonna run. Um, he c he can't say hey, it's a good running engine or whatever. To tell you the truth, it's probably been taken apart because it blew up. I mean, why else would the screws be out of this and the back plate be off? You know? It's probably got issues. So, I'm just going to try it with the three screws and see how we go. And then after that, if it's alright, I'll, uh, I'll get another screw and put that in there and button it up for good. But until then, we ain't. Alright you lot, I've nearly um, got enough to start monetizing my videos now by the way, in fact I might even have enough by the time this video goes live, 
And, you know, I know you lot are thinking, oh yeah, that just means that you can earn some money from it. But, the more, when I can start earning money from these videos, that's when it's going to get interesting. Because every single penny that I am going to get from this channel will go straight back into the channel. So, you know what that means, don't you? Now, I'll, I can buy new cars... I can buy, you know, parts, um, you know, um, what I really want to do is just buy loads of, keep buying all the new cars that come out, and then I can show you lot, and, and uh, we can go out and we can test them, to see what they're like, and really just do that sort of thing, that's what I'd like to do, um, you know, buy, new, buy the brand new cars that have just hit the market sort of thing. And go out and test them and uh, meet up with some local people maybe even some of you lot I think some of you lot are relatively local some of you lot are in London you know it's about an hour an hour and a half drive for me to get to London see if it's gonna pull over oh it does oh this ain't going up and down what have I missed out Something's missing. Have I missed something? I've obviously, I've obviously overlooked something because the piston don't go up and down. I bet it's missing that little pin. It's got to be missing that little pin. Oh bollocks! That means I've got to take that. That means I've got to get that screw out of there anyway. Oh, what's this turning out to be a bit of a nightmare? I didn't expect to be doing that tonight. I didn't expect to be doing that tonight at all. So what have we got in this thing? Have I got it in this engine? Oh! That's got two screws in it. Alright, we're we're alright. That's alright, we've got two screws in here. So I can use one of these screws. Alright, we're going to be alright for that, but I've got to work out why the piston don't go up and down. When I uh, pull the pulls down. Hold on. I think it's because I'm missing the little... Oh. Uh. Meant to be a little pin in there. I thought this one might have it in as well. Meant to be a little pin thing that goes in there. But I'm missing it. It's going to be in that one. But that means I've got to get that screw off. Alright. I'm going to have to get the grinder out, and I? Bloody hell. Play with me. <laughs> Probably ruin that backplate forever now. But never mind. No, it'll be alright. It's only got a little scratch on it. Let's get out of there. Yep. The little pin fell down there, so we'll get that out. That's the bit that I'm looking for. Come on! Oh, for the love of bloody bacon! Bonjour, no. Hello. Hello, wee wee. Wee wee. Right, that's what I need. That little pin there. God, why don't this bloody thing focus on anything? There we go, that little pin there. What that does, I didn't uh, didn't realise it was missing. What engine's which? That's the dodgy one over there in the vice. This is my new one. That's it, right. There we go, and that's my blown up one. So what this pin does is it goes in that little gap, that little groove. Oh, I don't know, it ain't going to focus. But that stands up in there, and then that goes in the bottom of the con rod, and that's what turns your piston up and down when you pull the pole star. So... 
where's my screwdriver so what I've got to do is I've got to take this off again luckily enough I've got a screw now that I salvaged I don't know what happened to the carburetor from the other one hopefully this carburetor is alright on this one here so Mr Mark I bet you're probably sitting there now watching this thinking to yourself oh I remember why I took that engine out and why I took it apart now because it blew up let's watch and wait until we <laughs> no hopefully it's alright you never know I know what it's like, you take things apart and you come back to it years later and you forget, don't you, what's happened to it. So, I'm getting loads of spare parts now. Right. Well, that one has got the... This one has got the pin in it. What the bloody hell's going on here then, dude? It has got it in it, but it's not. Ah, oh, dear. Right, I don't know if I'm going to better get this going in all today. I'm, I might not even put this video up because this is a second disaster video. But um, I thought I'd just quickly show you this. Hopefully, it's going to focus on it. I'm going to run out of um, battery on my camera. But this is my old original blown up engine, and I say blown up. Can you see the bottom bearing? It. Can you see there's only half of it? Well, that's what happened. That, um, listen to that. <laughs> that, um, that little bottom bearing there. Look. There. Oh, bloody hell. There it is. There's only, oh, no, there's only half of it. Well, that come out and, um, must have rattled around there, but then it went up and uh, jammed beside the piston. And uh, yeah, so this is my old original engine. So for those of you that wonder what happened to it, that's what happened. Anyway, so this is the the my new one that I've just got. It's stuck up the top there again now. I don't know why it does that. It's very weird. I, I tried to take this. I tried to take the heatsink off, but the Allen, all four Allen bolts in there are rounded off completely. So I've got to go and get a small drill bit to drill those out. Um, and then I can get to the top of the piston, but that looks brand new in there. I don't think it's been used much, but for some reason they're stripped out. And um, it's got like half of a pin in there. I can't move it round because it's jammed up the top again now. But it seems to be like half of a pin is in there. Can you see that? So I don't know what the deal is with that. So I can't fit that other pin I've just taken out of that other engine because there's half of a pin in there. So I need to take it all apart to get that half of a pin out but I also need to take it apart to try and find out why it jams at the top there and what that look it shouldn't be it shouldn't be like that can we focus thank you there's something not right there so I think this engine's got very oh we can't see it look I think this engine's got very good potential because it's practically new I mean look at the state of that in there that's that's all nice and shiny and then if we look at the state, this is the inside of the other engine that doesn't run very well, in the, in the, that was in the car. Um, hopefully that will focus on there. Look, it's all brown. You'd expect it to be a bit burnt in there, but it's all rusty and brown. Anyway, so, you know, that's pretty much new. Um, this is the back plate to it, pretty much new. So I think it's got very good potential, but I haven't got the time. I don't want to rush it. I need to go, go and get a small drill bit because I haven't got any drill bits that are that small left. Uh, they will snap. So I need to go and buy some more drill bits so I can drill out the top of these heads. The top of these, yeah, top of the heads for these screws. And then I have to go and buy some more screws. Because also the ones on here are rounded out as well because obviously people don't know how to undo Allen bolts. I don't know why. All the ones you ever come to are always rounded off. So this has got very good potential. And I will get it going. There'll be videos. Um, there's going to be a full rebuild. Well, not rebuild, but there's going to be a yeah, rebuild, I suppose. Take apart, find out the problem, and put it back together video on this engine coming up soon. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm a bit gutted I couldn't get it going tonight, but I know I didn't have a lot of time tonight. So, um, you know, there we go. That's the way it goes. Right. So. Even if I can still collect a couple more engines from you lot, if you don't want them, if you are buy them off you, I'll do whatever. Um, I'll 
well hopefully be able to make one really good engine out of um, all of them I think that one's going to be alright but I'm a bit strapped for time and I don't want to rush it so um, I've got to go out and buy some drill bits anyway to drill out those things and take it apart and give it a good sort of service and then um, yeah, we'll be putting it in that car so yeah pretty pleased with that anyway um, there we go thanks very much really really appreciate that Mark and thanks to all of you lot for watching and subscribing and whatever and um, yeah probably have another live stream soon I was going to do that as a live stream but it's difficult because I can't read the comments and I like reading the comments from you lot during the live stream so there we go anyway I'll catch you on the next one dudes and uh, yeah take care won't you